All right, um, so ladies and gentlemen, for this problem, what they're asking us to do is take the inverse tan of 3 fifths, negative 3 fifths, and then take the secant of that value. Now, um, if we were given a unit circle for our trig value, it would be very easy for us to pick this out, right? We could find the inverse tangent, find the angle by giving what our unit circle, what our point was on the unit circle, and then we could find the secant of that value. However, here, our negative 3 fifths is not a value that's on our unit circle. It's not one that we've been used to, right? right. So what I need to do is determine by using a triangle to figure out my value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw our quadrants here. And now remember, guys, tangent is only going to be between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, right? So, so we're only going to be dealing with this right side. So I have a tangent. Remember, tangent is is opposite over adjacent. So I can either have a uh, negative three, negative three, or a uh, five. And or, or remember, let's say instead of opposite over adjacent, how about we also look at y over x, right? When we're dealing with it on the coordinate coordinate point. Right? Our tangent is the same thing as our y over x. So what I could say is my y could be a negative 3 and my x could be a 5. So I get to have negative 3 and my x being a 5. Does everybody see that? Right? Or I could say, so I could have a negative 3 over 5, or I could have a 3 over negative 5. But if I did a 3 over negative 5, that looks something like this, right? And is that within our range of our inverse function? No. So we can't write the so we can't draw the graph three negative five. So here's our triangle that we're going to be dealing with. All right. And then the last thing what we need to do actually if we look at this. Um, so my angle is going to be five and negative three. Secant tells me to deal with what? Secant is the inverse of cosine. cosine. Cosine of theta is going to be your adjacent over your hypotenuse. Oh, we do need to figure out the hypotenuse. Okay. So we need to figure out the hypotenuse um, for, our, for our secant. So we'll just do a Pythagorean theorem. 5 squared plus negative 3 squared equals c squared. So I get 25 plus 9 equals c squared. 34 equals c squared. Take the root of both sides. Root 34 equals c. Okay, so now I want to take the root of 34, and what I notice is, remember, cosine is going to be your adjacent, or we could always say is your x over your r, right? It, it doesn't really matter which way you want to think about it. So I have my x over my r, but we're not trying to find cosine, we're trying to find the reciprocal of that, which is secant. So my secant theta is going to be my radical 34 over a positive 5. So when you have a problem like this, it's important for you um, to make sure that you just determine what triangle you're going to be using, okay? Determine what triangle you're going to be using, then find out your missing value, and then use your trig value to find the rest of it. Make sense?